add dimension and texture to your embroidery projects easily achieved by selecting Madeira's Lana and Katona threads. Create a quiet book with these specialty threads to give your finished embroidery a fake fur effect. Courtesy of the Lana thread and a beautiful matte finish complements of 30 weight Katona thread. I'd like to share with you the tips you'll need to know so that you too can easily stitch a touch and feel embroidery project. The embroidery designs are generally digitized to accommodate 40 weight rayon thread. This quiet book was created with the design with 40 weight thread, but the quiet book that you just saw had more texture and design to it. The Lana thread gives this faux fur, fake fur effect, and the Katona is a matte finish. It's a little thicker a thread. Both threads are heavier in weight, and let's take a look at the thread in comparison. Rayon thread, in this particular instance, the Madeira rayon thread is 40 weight. The Katona thread is 30 weight. The smaller the number, the thicker the thread. And then the Lana is a 12 weight thread. If you'd use the Lana thread in a design that was digitized for 40 weight thread, it would not look very well. So we're going to do some changes. And the changes will be made to one of the designs, the Billy Goat design from Barnyard Buddies. So we're I've placed this CD of embroidery designs into the drive of my computer. And I've also added edit and stitch. I can customize the stitches, change the density, and it's very easy to work with. And I'd like to show you how. So edit and stitch has been installed 2.0, and I have opened the software program, and now I'm going to open the embroidery. I'm going to go to open, and I'm going to go to find where it is on a machine. It, here it is. Here's the amazing designs CD. So I'll open the CD, and also open the designs. In this area, you will find all of the formats that the designs are available in. You'll see all the initials that go with the respective machines, but there's one additional one, and that file is BLF. This is exclusive to Amazing Designs. This is the file you use when you're going to do editing. It has important information in it for the stitches of the outline as well as the general stitch information, so choose this when doing the editing. I happen to know that the Billy Goat, the design I'm going to change the density, is design number 28, so I'll open the Billy Goat. And as it's opening, you'll see the completed design. First, I'm going to change the density, less stitches and less weight of the thread to go for the entire design. So across the top menu, I will choose the edit and select all of the thread colors. I found the select all and click. So now everything's been selected. Now to change the density, I'm going to use the vertical menu and way at the bottom is an icon that's a double arrow. And this double arrow stands for the override. It will override the stitches. And I'll click on this. And on my screen, now comes the override density options. I'm going to change the satin density as well as the pattern density. It's at 100% right now. I'm going to reduce it by a third. In other words, making it 66%. The pattern density, the same thing, 66%. And after hitting OK, it will reconfigure it so all the, all the stitches have been reduced by 66%. Pretty easy. When we look at our quiet book and the difference between the Katona and the Lana thread, the Lana thread, as you know, does, may remember, is a lot thicker than the Katona thread. So the threads that are used in the interior of the Billy Goat, I'm going to reduce again, again by a third. And I can do this by advancing through the thread colors and just choosing the thread colors that are of the billy goat. Along the vertical bar, there's an arrow. And this arrow, when I click on it, will show me my first thread color. That first thread color is going to be stitched into Katona, the 30 weight thread, so it's just fine. I'm not going to do any changes. I'll click on the arrow again, and then I see the other grasses, that's going to be Katona, but then the third click, you can see that this is going to be the first thread color of the Billy Goat. The background, the white background, is what is now on the screen, and I'd like that reduced some more. I'm going to reduce it by another third. So 
I'll go down to the override density button, the very bottom button right now on my screen. And after I click on this, I can simply highlight the satin stitch, change it by a third, in other words, to 66%, and then the pattern density, 66%. And after hitting OK, just that thread color has been reduced again in size. I'd like to change all of the thread colors for the billy goat. So I'll go back to my arrow button, select the next thread color, and then go down to the density override. After selecting the override density, again, we'll just do another change, just kind of quick change from 100% to 66% in the pattern, the same way, 100 to 66%, and then I hit OK. Now there are a few other thread colors that need to be reduced, and you'll do the same technique. Pretty simple. Now it's time to save the design and save as. And we're going to first of all change to the format of your machine. Now I'm with a baby lock, so I'm going to choose the PES format. So now this design is in the PES format. The file name, because this is number 28, the, the billy goat, so that I know that it is my Lana and my Katona thread, I'm simply going to name it such so that I know that that has been reduced in size and I'll save it. But before I save it, I'll better save it to the right place and that's the removable disk. And I would like to go to the removable disk E. And hit save and it's ready now after it saves to remove from the computer and put into my machine and then I'll show you the embroidery results. Now it's time to do the embroidery. Here you can see that I have the billy goat design on my LCD screen. I've also organized the threads according to the way I'm going to use them, placing them on the thread stand. The first two colors are the Katona followed by the colors of the Lana thread. For the Katona thread, use a metallic needle size 90. A larger size thread requires a larger eyed needle. The first two thread colors are the greens for the grasses of this embroidery. And I'm stitching, as you can see, both the green and the dark green to stitch the grasses. After those first two colors are sewn, then it's time for the Lana thread. Change the needle size, making it larger. This is a thicker thread. I'm using a top stitching needle size 100, or you could use a size 110. The first Lana thread color is white, which I've already stitched, and now I'm stitching the gray color, the second of the Lana thread colors. Even though that this thread is thick, it's easily stitching this design to create texture and dimension. You'll have a few more thread colors to stitch, some of Lana, some of Katona. After you're completed, you can add further touch and feel dimensions to your design by using the Velcro, the hook and loop tape Velcro, using the rough hook side and bringing or raising up the nap from the Lana thread. So you've learned how to change the density of a design, how to work with specialty threads, Gatone and Lana, and the stitching couldn't be more fun or easier. Nancy's Notions offers a full selection of sewing notions to test out your new sewing or embroidery skills. Order your supplies today.